for this journey that I'm about to go on. Not only am I moving to Florida, I am driving 10 hours to Florida. Ain't that something? But I'm just ready for the experience. Like, I know some of y'all like, she, she crazy driving 10 hours? Yes, I'm driving 10 hours. My husband was like, you need to enjoy the, the views and stuff. So I'm like, okay, you know. So, so he talked me into um, driving to Florida, and I am so ready for this journey. Um, I feel like I'm taking my talents to South Beach and pursuing my dreams of becoming a successful um, nail tech, beginning nail tech, and um, I'm so excited for it, and I'm also so excited to allow y'all to view this journey with me, and if you have any questions or Anything for me you want me to answer along this journey, feel free, feel, feel free, uh, feel free to comment below. All right. Furthermore, let's get into this journey. Yeah, excuse my closet, but yeah, I have to start packing. This is my husband's side. So yeah, I have to start packing. Just some tossing. Here's some of my purses. They behind all these clothes and my bags. So everyone, I am on my way. Let's enjoy this road trip. Music please. y'all so i am driving to florida i have five more hours to go y'all see all my stuff yeah so so far the ride has been very smooth there is a lot of traffic like the wash and dryer my kitchen my pantry my living room my island I'm tired my balcony bathroom in my bedroom oh the closet Ooh. wow in my room what's up y'all so this is day three um so <laughs> let's get into how the journey went from coming here to being here for three days so on my way here thursday morning i was three hours in and my car brakes went out 
I don't know how, I don't know why, but they did. I was three hours out before I got to where my destination. By the grace of God, I got here safely. So, as of now, I'm not with a car. I miss my baby so much. And um, I just want to thank God for a second because he's brought so many people through my path um, after my car has messed up um, to help me out. Um, it was my first time using Lyft and everything since you know, I'm from North Carolina. We don't really use Lyft <laughs> as much. But, um, yeah, so my Lyft drivers, all of them was, they went above and beyond. Uh, and I thank God for that for me. Um, also, um, the place that I took my car to at first, it was playing too many games. And it was going to charge me more than it should be. You know how these tired places do. So, um, yeah, um, my sister, um, had a, has a friend here and he, I guess he know how to work on cars. I'm assuming. Yeah, you do. Okay. So, um, he came and got my car from that place and he's now working on it. So hopefully I will have my car back by Tuesday, but it just allowed me to see that the devil tried to throw me off. But he forgot who built me. God built me. God built me. So therefore, devil, you will not win. And I will cast you back into the sea. No, I, you're not about to ruin this journey for me. I will exceed. I will excel. I will. <clears throat> I will. This. I know this journey will be bigger than I can ever imagine. And for this to happen as soon as I got here, just lets me know God has God has bigger plans for me in store here. So I'm so excited for this journey. I'm so excited to see, um, allow y'all to see this journey with me. Um, besides my car messing up, I did start my first, well, not my first job, but I did start my job, um, my first job in sales um, with Spectrum Friday. So, um, yesterday and Friday was my first, you know, two days working with Spectrum and I'm so excited for that journey. And yeah, I just wanted to encourage someone, you know, that maybe wants to, you know, step out on faith and drive or fly or whatever, go to a different state and be by themselves and are, are by themselves. Cause I don't have my husband with me. I don't have my daughter with me. And that's kind of hard. You know, I'm sacrificing a lot to, um, be here right now. So, um, and like I said, it's hard. It's not easy. You know, I get my moments where I get emotional, but I'm doing it for them. I'm doing it for myself. I'm doing it for my daughter. I want her to be a risk taker. I want her to be able to go after her dreams and, and step out on faith and grow, grow a relationship with God. Because you, I mean, you can have a spiritual relationship with God in church, but you got to have your own relationship with God. So this right here, I feel like this is my time to grow my relationship with God because I have never been through anything. So this incident with my car and then me coming in here by myself it's like all right i'm going through something so I, I have a testimony to tell somebody else that wants to do the same thing that i'm doing right now so i ain't gonna i ain't gonna preach your head off i ain't gonna preach your head off too hard okay but yes i'm excited for the journey and i know god is gonna do exceedingly abundantly above for me on this journey and i'm gonna keep my faith I'm going to keep my trust in him. I'm going to continue to believe in him and stay flat-footed on his word and continue to stay in my prayer closet because that's where everything begins. Pray, praying and talking to God and staying in your Bible. Like my sister-in-law, my sister-in-law has Bibles and bags. Like you got to be in your Bible to be in your bag. You feel me? So this is what I'm here for. I'm here to be in my Bible and I'm here to get in my bag so I can succeed, so my daughter can succeed, so her kids and kids can succeed. Like I'm doing this for my family. Like I'm not only just doing this for me, I'm doing it for my family because I know this is going to break generational curses. Like Nobody in my family has stepped out of their comfort zone and went out and did something like this, like what I'm doing. So, I'm excited. 
And yeah, I'm gonna give y'all an update six months from now to tell y'all where I'm at and how things are going. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching the Lifestyle LLC.